Am I gonna get another guest on the show? Oh, it's my mom, guys. Thank you. All right, challenge six. It's time to sambal. Every family has their own recipe for a classic sardine sambal dish. Very true. In today's episode, we have someone special to help us share your challenge. Can Charlotte may recreate her family's sardine sambal recipe? Am I gonna get another guest on the show? Oh, okay. Oh, it's my mom, guys. Surprise, surprise, Charlotte. In this episode, I will be the one giving you your challenge. And that is to make your own version of sardine sambal. When you were young, I used to make this dish for your brothers and you. And I remember that you always asked me not to make it too spicy. I did! In my recipe, I used to use belimbing, raw onions, cilantro, curry powder, and tomatoes. So today, you are going to make your own version for your audience members. And remember, Put your special ingredient that is love. Good luck. <laughs> oh, my mom. She is all the way in Costa Rica, by the way. So you sneaky guys have planned all this. But yes, my mom did make sardine sambal really often when I was a kid. And she used to serve it on wholemeal bread, which I really wasn't a fan of. And she would top it off with parsley and a lot of freshly cut raw shallots. Again, as a kid, I used to pick it out because I did not like it at all. But I eventually grew up to like the dish anyway because it is super yummy. And actually, it is true. Like, every family does have their own version of sardine sambal. I mean, how did your moms do it? Mine was really, really spicy. It was dry and full of onions. Mm. Mm, and my mom usually makes it very saucy and we eat it with rice. Oh, interesting. Well, you see, yeah, every family has their very own way of cooking it, serving it. So today, I'll show you how my family did it with my own little Charlotte twist. So for this recipe, I'm going to begin with making my spice paste. Now, we know we need a lot of chilies for this recipe. So I'm going to use a mixture of large and small ones. About four big chilies and let's use uh, five small chilies. I want to make it potent. Uh, and then I need garlic, onion, using red onion today, and also turmeric, one of my favorite ingredients in the kitchen. Now, before I begin this though, my mom did mention using balimbing, which is a really sour fruit in the recipe. I don't have that at home, so to replace that, I'm gonna be using tamarind pulp. Mr. Fridgeman, can I please have some tamarind? Thank you. Uh, while we're at it, a tomato. And spring onions, please. Thank you, I got everything I need. Uh, we're gonna begin by soaking the tamarind pulp so we can extract all that flavor. And I'm just gonna slowly massage the pulp into the warm water. Okay, we'll massage all the pulp out and I'm just gonna let that sit in there. And we can make our paste. So, I'm gonna need a blender for this. Okay, now I'm just gonna roughly chop everything up before putting it into the blender. Okay, that's all in there. I'm going to blend it up right now. I'll just move this aside. Ooh. <laughs> Very potent. You kind of want this nice pasty consistency. So now, next thing to do is to fry it up. I'm gonna put some vegetable oil in there. And we're gonna put the spice paste in. Not gonna waste any of this. And I remember when my mom used to fry it at home, we would all run out because this would get us coughing and tearing up in the kitchen. So that looks about right. I'm gonna add in the tamarind water now. So I'm just gonna let that simmer for a while. And I'm gonna cut up a tomato. Mom used to put this in for texture and I loved it. So I'm just gonna cut it up to wedges. Then we'll add that in right now. The tomatoes are in there. I'm just gonna let them cook for a while. Wait for them to soften up before adding in the sardines. But for now, let's open up the can to look at these beauties. 
Okay, so I've opened the can. Now you'll see uh, a layer of oil floating at the top. I'm going to drain this off because I don't want my dish to be too oily. Look at that fish! So I'm going to add it in right now along with all the tomato sauce in there. So I've added the sardines in whole because mom always said that they contain lots of edible bones and they're full of calcium which are good for our bones. Now I've not added in any salt because the sardines already contain some salt. I'm just going to taste it right now to see if it needs any. Ooh, it's going to be nice and spicy. Whew. I feel like this is the chili tuna episode again, but it's good. And I think the salt level is just about right. I'm just gonna add in some spring onion. So I'm just gonna stir that about and let that simmer for a while. And then we can plate up. That's as simple as this recipe gets. And that's why it's such a staple in so many households. And there you go. Wait, but I think there's something missing. My mom's raw shallots. I must do her proud. So let me just slice some up really quickly. And there you have it. My very own sardine sambal recipe. May the food be with you. And mom, I hope I made you proud with this dish. I only wish I can send it over to Costa Rica right now. So can Charlotte May recreate her family's sardine sambal recipe? Confirm can la. Try this recipe at home and leave a comment down below to let I Am Brand know what you would like to see in my next challenge. Whatever it is, confirm can la.